Hey guys, um, so today I'm just going to be presenting a little bit introductory lesson to playing scales and intervals, which if you have any knowledge of this, you know, it's going to be pretty basic. Um, so, you know, uh, may may not be for you, but I'm just introducing from the start playing scales and um, intervals, which is a very easy way to make scale runs sound more interesting beyond just playing the scale because it can be cool to do all your just your scale runs you know but sometimes you can get if you want to spice it up they get a little old after a while um so playing scales in intervals that being said like rather than just going you know c d e f g etc you might go c e d f whatever um that's something that can make your scale patterns sound a lot more interesting. Um, so that's something you hear a lot in in jazz. Um, in, you can hear it in some rock. I'm more Grateful Dead shirt. You can hear it. Um, like Garcia, Garcia might do if you're playing something that has a lot of, you know, just kind of one scale over a, a modal kind of pattern and you want to, it's great for modal stuff, you want to make it, you know, alternate what you're doing with um, the modality and make it a scale sound a little more interesting. Um, so basically, it's a variation of how you might finger a scale in the, uh, what is that, uh, kind of similar to the G shape? Uh, it's not, but you know, kind of, uh, so what I'm using, I'll, I'll show it closer up, but, uh, basically it's, you know, just this box here, C, D, E, F, G, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and I'll show it closer up here. Anyways, you know, it's a pretty basic major scale, um, so what I'm going to do is play it in intervals. So we're going to play the third of each lower note, um, so as if we're taking it as triads through the scale, which is a great thing to do too, I can show another lesson. Um, we're just going to kind of take it from the bottom and build up. So for example, if we're just thinking in one octave, we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, back to C. And so the third of each of this, if you're just looking at, you know, you have C and E, D and F, D minor, uh, E and G, F and A, G and B, A and C, uh, B and D, and back to C and E. You know, that's a pretty sound in and of itself, especially if you spread it out. that's something for another day um which i'll talk about too just you know again if you have any requests or any thoughts just let me know um anyways what we're gonna do is how i like to finger uh, in two octaves is like this which i'll show a close-up of now So anyways, 
the easiest way, again, to think of it is you're just going like, you know, uh, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. And if you're thinking of it in terms of intervals, again, it's just the type of third that each chord in the scale would have. So you'll have like, you know, a major third because it's a major chord, D minor third because it's a minor chord, E minor third because it's a minor chord, F major third because it's a major chord, uh, G major third because it's a major chord, uh, B minor third because it's a uh, half diminished chord, and I skip one, A because it's a minor chord, B to D minor third because it's a diminished chord, and C back up. So, you know, pretty cool. You've got, that's just in C major, obviously. You can do that with uh, with anything. We'll stick, uh, you know, if you've got a Mixolydian, you can do that, or whatever, Dorian, which I'll, I'll put up some stuff as well. But it's, and you, of course, you can do it with any interval. It's easiest to just think in small chunks. And, you know, when you're working that up, it can take, I'm just doing pretty strict alternate picking. Because it gets faster, sometimes you might want to, you know, hammer on. In, in, in certain places, but um, there's different ways to finger it, different approaches to it, but as an introductory, and just to get the idea kind of under your fingers, it's a pretty good way to work it out. You know, you've got a lot of... a lot of, of hanging on a one chord, that would be a rock kind of thing, or if you've got like a 6-9 chord. Now, just how it can sometimes sound old to just do the do it in seconds. That being said, you don't want everything to be in uh, intervals or thirds all the time because then it just sounds like someone warming up or running exercises, which is a good warm up, but that's not what you want to come out and you're playing. So basically, you want to strike the balance of what you're doing, you know. So you've got like a couple of notes that you're running up, and then maybe you want to run up a few of the scale tones so you'll, you'll run up, uh, do some thirds. Back to the normal. You know, um, so you can apply that a lot of different places and make it sound interesting. Uh, you know, you can use your ear and just once you get it under your fingers, it'll really fall easily. So if you have any questions, anything else, just let me know. Any requests, let me know. Um, stay safe, guys. Talk to you soon.